Hello and welcome to my F124 driver career mode here today for part 19 and the start of the 2025 Formula 1 season. It's been a busy winter in the driver market where Lewis Hamilton has left Mercedes for Ferrari. How would he get on this season? We have signed a new contract with William the one year extension after a very successful first season in Formula 1. We come into qualifying now though for the first race of the season here in Jeddah. This is our final run. We have found six tenths on this lap and it's good enough to put us on the second row in the start, P3. Months of rumor and speculation all comes to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. So let's take a look at a topographical map of the Jetta Street circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Brown, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Albon, Leclerc, Gasly, Stroll, Russell, Ocon, Ricardo, Sonoda, Joe, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Sargent, and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. Now it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. The formation lap gets underway here in Saudi Arabia and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure their car is ready for battle once the lights go out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. But the question I'm asking is which teams have got it right and which teams have got it horribly wrong. So here we go then, for the first race of the season, it's Max V. Lando on the front row. It's like out and we're racing in Cheddar. We've got a fairly decent start, so is Lando Norris. Lando's alongside Max, going down into turn one. Lando's going to try and go around the outside. We fend off Carlos Sainz and the Mercedes. Lando Norris takes the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. We go through the first sector. We have kept our P3 in the opening couple of corners from Carlos Sainz. Oscar Piastri is in the background as well. As now we head through. This is Max looking for the lead of the Grand Prix back. He's all over the back of Lando. As now we ride on board with Max. He's getting closer and closer. And you go through that tricky turn 19, get towards it. Through it now we go. And it looks like Lando may be a bit of a sitting duck here as we head up towards the final corner on the first lap of the Grand Prix. Max goes to the inside. Lambo is defenseless going into the final corner. Max retakes the lead of the Grand Prix at the end of lap one. Can Lambo now get the exit? Yes, he can. He's going to go to the outside. Max comes off the inside. Lambo is going to retake the lead, but he's just running out of straight line speed. Down the inside goes Max. He has the outside line, the racing line, and the traction to keep that McLaren in his mirrors. As that has allowed us to get in on the act as well and maybe have a sniff at the lead or even at least second in this race. But we did start to drop back once again on the lap because Lando wants the lead back and gets the lead back. 
going into the final corner. Lando Norris leads the Grand Prix. We were kind of watching this battle just ahead, but we need to start to look in our mirrors because Carlos Sainz is closing as Max goes back to the outside of, of Lando, gets the job done and retakes the lead. We fend off Carlos Sainz in the process as well. Sergio Perez in the background. He started to get his way through. There's now this is Lando going for the lead of the Grand Prix again to the outside into the final corner. Sainz is having to go on the outside of us as well. Max looks to have defended him off for now. As Carlos Sainz is going for it on us. Lando looks like he's got the lead. Carlos Sainz has got past us. We're now side by side with Sergio Perez. He's going to be free wide maybe going into turn one. Carlos Sainz has got us. Perez has got us. We're down to P5. We've been what, having a great battle with the popcorn, watching Max V. Lando and be caught out here. As Carlos Sainz goes onto the podium and has pulled away. As this is Lando getting past. Once again, as Carlos Sainz comes under pressure from Sergio Perez. Down the inside, we nearly locked up trying to get past. It's now Max and Lando, what a battle this is for the lead. Lando retakes the lead. Now though, back to ours. Carlos Sainz in the Mercedes is going to try and get past Perez. He does get past Perez. We go down the inside of Perez, try and get the, the fourth place back. But Perez fenders on and we have to sit behind for now. We are kind of out of position. Our car is quick this season it seems, but not really quick enough for the Red Bulls and Mercedes and McLarens as Perez gets past Carlos Sainz and now them battling is really just about allowing us to stay in touch as, as Sainz goes for the odd switch away and gets Perez just round the outside he now has the inside line Perez though on the racing line has the extra grip to keep it pinned around the outside Max is really Taking the lead of the Grand Prix as we look to the outside, going through there, we're just staying in touch. But Sainz is having him back. Lando Dream taking the lead. There goes Sainz into the into the final corner. Perez has locked up. Perez has cracked under the pressure of of battling and handed us P4. Now can we get back after Carlos Sainz? and take back the podium place that we've lost in the opening stages of the race as we head through the first sector and as we come towards the end of lap seven we're getting closer and closer to the back of Carlos Sainz Perez is dropped miles back as we get back onto the podium of the Grand Prix here in Jeddah as the front two are still battling, you can just see in the distance. Carlos Sainz though, is he going to come back at us here? As we head down towards the first corner, we fend him off. We cover off the inside line. Sainz was too far back to do anything there. We go through the opening couple of corners. But on to the end of lap 8, on to lap 9. Carlos Sainz goes to the inside of us. Down the inside he goes. We try and hold it around the outside. Sainz is going to have... The racing line though, and we have a bit of a wobble as well, which doesn't help. And retakes P3. So it's a great helicopter camera angle now. As we're getting closer and closer to the back of science, we're going to go around the outside at tricky turn 22. And retake the podium place. But it has kind of put us offline a bit. So science with the DRS is going to be able to get us back here as we go up towards the final corner. Science on the outside. He's going to keep it pinned around the outside. We show him the door and we keep him behind for now. But he's going to be on us heading down towards turn one. We're going to try and defend the inside line. Science goes to the outside. He's just a little bit too far back to do anything there. It's now lap 11. Up towards the final corner. Science goes to the outside. Science. Once again trying to go to the outside. Showing the door once again. He backs out of it. 
and we keep him behind for now. As we come in to make our one and only stop of the day as we nearly hit the wall. We, as we lose it trying to carry as much speed as possible. I think the front wing is fine. I think it was just on the rear. We definitely hit the wall. Clearly not enough though to do any sort of damage. As we go on okay, to the hard tyres to get us to the end of stop. this Grand Prix. We Sight stayed out so there's an opportunity here if we can get these tyres up, up to temperature to pull on Sainz. Hopefully breaking DRS and getting away. As we come out just behind Lando Norris who I believe did start to drop back from Verstappen. One lap later this is Carlos Sainz boxing for his one and only stop of the day he's going on to the hard tires as well he's doing the same strategy as us but now where do we come out relative to him there through goes Verstappen there goes Lando and here we come flying down the pit straight we keep our P3 ahead of him as we go through the first corner we've pulled on Sainz ever so slightly but now can we get away on these hard tyres it's been a great battle so far but I would much rather it turn into a bit of a boring race for us and we can get away but science isn't having that same idea because he wants to get his first podium for Mercedes as we go side by side through the, the, the chicane we keep him behind there was rumours of course us being part of the Mercedes program that is Alonso goes to the outside of Perez who has started to catch Alonso on the outside round the outside goes goes Perez to keep the place from Fernando Alonso that Aston Martin looking quick he picked up a couple of wins last season Alonso winning that chaotic Brazilian Grand Prix as this is starting now to turn into a bit of a four-way fight as Carlos Sainz goes round the outside of us as and gets the job done now that he's punching a big hole as we go towards the first corner but now we need to be focusing on Sergio Perez it's free wide briefly Sergio Perez backs out of it we break later and get the job done again on science science down Perez side by side they're still side by side Perez has to back out of it science keeps P P4 Perez P5 Alonso P6 as now this is Pierre Gasly Alpine not having the car once again this season it seems he's slowing down he's got a rear left puncture it's all gone wrong for Pierre Gasly he's slowing down he's got a tyre in the air as he really slows down coming out of the final corner and that's not good he's holding up his teammate and Yuki Sonoda in the RB is now look he is crawling back to the pits he's like Lightning McQueen on the final lap trying to scramble back to the pits you can see the state of that rear left tyre it's gone as now he's really really struggling to get back to the pits he's going so slow here you can barely turn the car with the right front tyre in the air is now he's going to be lapped here surely as now this is our battle as we come under pressure from those behind Fernando Alonso has got a great exit here he's got past Perez he's now going round the outside of of Sainz potentially Sainz now in the slip room of us he's had to back out because Pierre Gasly is still in the middle of the track going so slow Sainz has lost out then to Alonso to Perez Alonso's done the double on Sainz and Perez as now Gasly is still trying to get back to the pits and he just can't he's going so slow I think the FIA have probably closed the pit lane with the slow moving car as this is the two Salbers and it's Bottas slowing down and it's a big engine failure that Ferrari engine has gone bang in the back of that Sauber. Bottas's day is done. As now P3 
here Gasly has nearly made it back to the pits he's going so so slow now he's into the pits he's crossed the line and that his day's ruined he's a lap down now you can see he's still on lap 17 I think he's nearly two laps down as Bottas you can see they're retiring and Pierre Gasly has been disqualified for driving too slow. As now we try and defend off Fernando Alonso. Carlos Sainz has dropped miles back here. That really caught him out. As now Alonso is going to look to the outside of us. But he's too far back but he's locked up as Alonso. And it's now round the outside. Sergio Perez sees a chance to try and get past the Spaniard. As they're both side by side going into the chicane who's giving up no one is but Fernando Alonso even with the mistake keeps him behind and finally Pierre Gasly though he's been disqualified has made it back to his pit box and they've let him go but he's stopped because of course he's been disqualified and Gasly's dramatic limp back to the pits is over and he is out of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix as Alonso and Perez are still battling and Perez finally gets the job done on Fernando Alonso and this is just allowing us to finally have a bit of a breather in this race and not constantly be defending those behind we've pulled just outside the DRS we've broken it which is good as Alonso re-overtakes Sergio Perez into turn one this is a great little scrap as Alonso is going to have him back here Carlos Sainz has closed the gap back on on these two Perez holds to the inside on the outside does Perez now Perez keeps the place and gets past Fernando Alonso as now they head up towards the final corner Alonso sweeps round the outside to retake P4 in this race as we just about keep out of the DRS here but Perez is having him back Perez is on the mediums he's on the quicker tyre retakes P4 in the race as Fernando Alonso locks up at turn one again this time he's not going to be able to defend and he's lost out to Carlos Sainz but he's having Sainz back on lap 23 there's just a handful of laps to go Carlos Sainz has to admit defeat and he's done by his hero Fernando Alonso as now we head down towards turn one Sergio Perez is broken away a bit just like us Sainz though to the outside of Fernando Alonso into turn one can he get the job done Alonso have the outside line the outside line seems to be so better defensively wise and Alonso keeps the place as we go on now to the final lap of the Grand Prix to the outside goes Carlos Sainz once again round the outside goes Sainz Alonso will once again have the outside line and keep it pinned round the outside to keep that place from Carlos Sainz meanwhile though Max Verstappen is going to start off the season like he always seems to do he fended off Lando early on and he wins in Jeddah to start the season Lando Norris will have to come home for P2 and now we as this is Carlos Sainz getting past Fernando Alonso eventually we are going to come home for a podium and our second one in Formula 1 the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix to a close then as we reflect on the team's impressive performance today Well, you're always unsure of the competition and what your opponents have been able to do in the off-season, but they've come here today, they've delivered the performance that you dream about, and wow, did they make that car sing today. Really impressive stuff. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. it has been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves.
so that's been your opening round of the 2025 formula one season what a race it was great battle for the lead early on between max and lando max coming out on top and starting the season off with a win we fended off the quicker cars behind in Perez Alonso and mostly Carlos Sainz in that race to pick up our second podium in Formula 1 some could say and argue it should be our third after that puncture on the penultimate lap back in Monza last season but a podium to start off the season it shows we have made good progress over the winter and maybe we can keep this up maybe this is the true strength of the car this season we have taken a huge step forward hopefully and then it was Sergio Perez who did win out the battle in the end for P4 and Carlos Sainz got Fernando Alonso for P5 on the final corner Albon also getting points just he's got one single point down in P10. Lewis Hamilton on his Ferrari debut didn't even get into the points. Charles Leclerc only P8. Has he made the right decision Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes after this first race in Jeddah? It looks like he hasn't. We'll see as the season goes on. Down at the back then two retirements one being a disqualification. Gasly limping back to the pits eventually got disqualified and Valtteri Bottas went out with that engine failure in terms of the constructors then and Red Bull lead the constructors world championship by 14 points over McLaren and we are P3 in the constructors ahead of Mercedes Aston Martin then it's Ferrari who have four points and then Alpine RB Sauber and Haas didn't pick up a point this weekend so that's been the Grand Prix here in Jeddah the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix great battles and if that is a taster of what this season is going to be I think 2025 is looking like a very good season for Formula One we go down under to Australia next where we made our debut last season can we make it back to back point scores in Australia I'll see you then goodbye